She came face to face with the shooter outside the theater. Jurors at the theater shooting trial hearing today from Jansen Young. Her boyfriend, Jonathan Blunk, was one of those killed that night. She says she thought the shooter headed to the lobby, so she ran out the exit door only to see the redheaded shooter standing there looking into a car. It looked like a man's build, like kind of bigger, like shoulders, and he had his hands down to his side and he was looking in the driver's side window. Jansen says she hid near the dumpsters until she thought it was safe to come out when police arrived. And today we're learning new information about the 29-page notebook the gunman sent to his psychiatrist. 7 News investigator John Ferguson going through that notebook today. And, John, this wasn't something the defendant threw together quickly. Yeah, not at all, Ann. It clearly was written over a long period of time. The notebook provides insight into the meticulous planning of the murders, and it also gives a clearer picture of what defense attorneys claim is the insanity of James Holmes. The notes and drawings are often precise with symbols, yet like this page, labeled insights into the mind of madness, the killer seems to equate his self-worth with the deaths of others. He writes, murderer value equal to dead, equal may equal priceless. On another page he notes, why should life exist? What is the purpose of living? And then he lists elements of what he terms self-diagnosis of broken mind. Later, he rambles about unity and how unity should exist, and then perseverates for seven pages, writing the word why in ever-increasing size. The question is evidently never answered. But as prosecutors charge, there seems to be a method to all this alleged madness, as the murderer weighs different ways to kill. Bombs, biological warfare, and what form his killing should take. Mass murder, serial murder, and then the venue. Should it be an attack on an airport or a movie theater? And then there are the drawings of the Aurora Theater, individual screening areas that he scouted for exits, citing what he believes are the best target areas and strategizing about his order of attack and how to kill defenseless people. Now, it's not surprising that prosecutors say the contents of these notebooks, or this notebook, provides the killer planned, or it proves that the killer planned these intimate details of the murders and he knew exactly what he was doing at the time. Now, defense attorneys are claiming that his writings prove that while he did carry out these killings, he was clearly insane at the time. The jury has seen this notebook. It will have a copy of it to consider during its deliberations. I'm 7 News investigator John Ferrugia. And you can check out more of the pages from the notebook and highlights from today's testimony in the theater shooting trial section of the 7 News app. You can also log on to the app to watch the trial as it is happening.